Good afternoon, and welcome to my weekend edition, hence the casual attire, um, Facebook Live. We'll be in YouTube later on, I'll tell you about that in a moment. Uh, this is episode number 653, and the topic today is stop hoping for love. Excuse me, hoping for love sucks. <laughs> stop it, do this instead. That's a three-part title. Uh, I'll get into detail on what that means and what you can do differently and why you may be doing the wrong thing the wrong way or the right thing the wrong way, etc., etc., in a moment. Before I jump into the topic, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and why I do this stuff. My name is Barry Selby. Um, I am a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which is why it inspires my work and also inspires these talks, which I've done now for over two years. And these are called Messages from the Masculine, Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. And today we're episode number 653. And again, the title is hoping for love sucks stop it do this instead i think that's what i said so i'm going to jump in the topic and be very blunt about this because um actually i'm going to tell you where i stole something from too because i was literally just walking watching somebody else's interview online um which is some things he said just like landed for me so i want to give that to you and explain some options of where you can do things differently if you have been hoping for love and looking for love in all the wrong places stop it <laughs> um, the reality is when you hope for something it's basically an, um, I can say this in a, a nice way it ain't going to happen that's a simple way I could put it I was actually listening to uh, a dear friend of mine Daniel Brinkley being interviewed by Gail Thackeray on her new podcast I'm watching it on YouTube actually um, I'll put the link in the comments below so you can watch the whole thing I've only watched half of it because I have to do my Facebook live but I'll put that in the comments so you can watch it as well but he made a very powerful point. Um, this is going to be spiritual, just so bear with me as I go here. And also um, ancient tales of the Far East type stuff. Basically, he said that it was the that hope is the last curse from Pandora's box. And what I get from what he means by it, and he explained a little bit about this, is that hope is something that is a never-ending, wishful thing. It's like being on a it's like being on a hamster wheel, spinning and spinning and spinning, hoping to get to the other end of it and never getting there. That's what hope is. So if you've been hoping for love, hoping for a relationship, hoping that person's going to find you or you're going to find that person, that's what it's going to feel like. It's exhausting. It's not going to get you there. The simple answer to what's doing instead is called the power of intention. But I'm going to break it down a bit more than that because it's not just like that's the easy fix. Setting an intention is declaring to your environment, the universe, life, it's, life itself, your, and also to yourself, what it is you really intend to have happen? I talked about this before with New Year's, New Year's resolutions, how resolutions basically the same thing as hope. So it's that the problem with resolutions, they're, they're human created and human defeated. Whereas intentions are much more potent because you're setting an intent in motion for your life. So at the new year, and also anytime you want to create a powerful change in your life, set an intention for the, that. But there's a certain way to do the intentions, and I'll give you that in a second. I'm actually going to put some links in the comments on... Um, one for your best life which is an online program I created that's basically about setting your intentions into existence and also for the ladies I'm gonna put in the comments a link to my attract the man you want program because the intention settings part of that eight module program both of them are, in, are based on that because intentions work now the way you do intentions is not just a flippant thing <laughs> you know just throw it out there and go forget it don't worry about it the way you do an intent you declare an intention is you set an intention that is positive, affirmative, empowering, and in the reality of what you're creating. I'll say them again if I remember how I said it. It's <laughs> it's it's positive it's it's positive, affirmative in the affirmative language. It's also in the present moment, rather than saying that the yes, well, thing is not in the future. It's in the present moment. So, for example, I'll give you an example to make it easier for you. Say, for example, I'm looking to manifest, create, attract the relationship I want, which I am actually, just to be on the side. So I intend to have an amazing relationship with my incredible partner where we love and teach and facilitate together. That's a simple intention I've just declared for you right there without any script. But the thing about the intention is it's in the present moment, it's affirmative, it's directional, and it is done the way where you are letting it be open at the top. Because I'm not saying that this person has to be in a certain location or be a certain age or a certain thing. 
it's all open to spirit to really bring that to home. But the thing about intentions is it creates momentum. Unlike hope, which is, again, like we're going on a hamster wheel, the, intent, the energy of that is cyclic and doesn't end. It doesn't, come, it doesn't go anywhere. It's just loop and loop and loop and loop. When you set intentions, you're actually putting wheels in motion to have your universe support you. And this is going to sound a bit woo-woo, but it's a powerful teaching tool. Intention is a gift to declare for your life what you want. It's different from saying, well, I'm going to make this happen. Because it's not your, pa- your job to make things happen. It's not your power. It's actually your opportunity to invest in your intention. The thing about intentions is you can um, energize them by being really clear as I said, I'm going to put links in the comments for my um, Your Best Year program and also your Attracting Man You Want program because both of them take those intentions and up-level them. Because when you set your intention, which is the step to take to free up your, your vision to where you want to go, then the thing to do with it is to actually create an image, a vision, an experience of the reality you wish to embody. It sounds very complicated, but it's not. It's actually very simple. What you're doing is, in your imagination, holding a vision of what your intention is, and then ex- then seeing what that, if you're a visual person, seeing what it looks like, or feeling what it feels like, or hearing what it sounds like. Any of those things work. It's about where you resonate in your sensory apparatus, apparatus, but where you feel you experience life most effectively. If you're somebody who experiences life through feelings, then your, intent, your idea is to set up the intention and feel what it feels like to have that manifest, to have it become real, to have it actually come true. If you're a visual person, then your sight of what you're looking for will show up that way too. Now, some people are auditorily based. They can actually sense by sound. So they'll be hearing things that really resonate for them. Maybe you, maybe somebody else. There's actually a fourth one. I'm not going to go into that one for now. It doesn't fit. But this is what I'm going to get clear for you. So it's, this is two steps of giving out of the whole process. But really, the power of intention is a game changer for most people because most people don't know how to do this. So again, when you set your intention, you make it affirmative, positive, directional, open-ended, because I forgot that piece earlier, and also in the present time, in present moment. So... In, when I said my intention earlier, I didn't say that I intend to have this relationship in three years. I basically set my intention to have that relationship now. So it brings it to the present moment. So you're affirming it in a positive tone, an affirmative state. So I'm in. So it's, instead of saying I'm looking, I'm looking not to have that. I'm looking for this, or I'm intending for this to happen, versus intending for something not to happen. So again, positive and affirmative, in the present moment, open ended, so it can be even better than you expected and then allowing spirit to come in and play with you. Because the truth of this is when you're setting up this power of intention, you're inviting a much bigger force, a much bigger power, a much bigger authority, which is inside of you, by the way, to come play in this intention setting. When you're hoping, your ego is screwing itself up. So I hope you get clear. Hoping versus intentions are very different things. And intending what you want in life blows resolutions out the year that the water that's why that's why I was really big at the beginning of the year talking about how resolutions suck how intentions rock this is on another level which is about hopes versus intentions and if you are hoping for something to happen fingers crossed it's a joke you can have you can do it if you want but the odds of it happening are pure coincidence it's 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 literally going to be a coincidence if it does happen not a real power of that when you intend something you're putting forces in motion that can create results for you <coughs> Excuse me. I think that made my point clear enough. I'm keeping the point short because it's a weekend broadcast. I usually keep my weekend broadcast shorter. But I want you to think about this for yourself. Where in your life do you want to have some changes happen? Maybe it's the area of relationship. Maybe it's in the area of career. Maybe it's in the area of spiritual practice or health. If you're hoping to go to the gym sometime, really going to work. Intend to get up early and go to the gym is more effective. It may take some practice though, because for some people going to the gym is like, no way I'm going to do that. But setting the intention moves you closer to that vision. So use intentions for changes you want to make in your career, in your health, your spiritual practice, relationship, any area of your life. Now, one thing I want to say, add to that as a PS. When you set an intention that involves somebody else, it's not as likely to happen the way you expect because you are involving somebody else's consciousness. That's why when I say about my affirming what I want to create a relationship with, I didn't give somebody, I didn't put out a name or a person I'm thinking of. 
because it's not my job to do that. For the intention to manifest the way that I'm asking for it to manifest, I've got to let go of it. And that's the other part is detachment. So when you're envisioning and you want to hold an intention for a new career, you've got to be willing to let go of the framing of what it looks like. Be open to the possibilities and to let it be um, bigger, better, more successful, more joyful, and more um, fulfilling than you ever imagined. Because that's the power of intention. So, go play with that if you wish. Again, I'll put links in the comments for both the Attract the Man You Want program for the ladies and also Your Best Life, which is for everybody, which will give you the steps to, um, let's say this, I'll give you the steps to create the reality you want in your life, using intention as part of the process, and both of them are. So again, this is a Facebook Live I do every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. I put the replays on my business page, which is um, barryselby.author. Please like my page on Facebook. You can also watch them on YouTube. I put them on YouTube later on. So if you go to youtube.com, sorry, you go to YouTube and look for Barry Selby, please subscribe to my, my uh, channel. That's the word, channel. On there is a playlist called Messages for the Masculine where these all live. I'll be watching it there. And next time you want to catch me on Facebook, join me on my personal page on Facebook at 5 p.m. Pacific time every day. Then you can interact and comment and everything else. If you have any questions or thoughts about this broadcast, please put it in the comments below. Um, I'm going to put links in the comments for a couple of things I'm recommending if you want to learn about how intentions work in my programs. And if you are really looking for some support, message me. This is my mission, my work, my purpose, and I love helping my clients get what they want. So with that, I thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Oh, by the way, if you have anybody you think should see this, feel free to share this broadcast out to them, send it to them directly, however you want to do that because it might just help them get what they want. And with that, I thank you for being with me. I will see you again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Take care of yourself.